There are some themes and issues in life that I love to dwell on. One of them is the church. We gather together, however many of us. We agree to meet, whatever the time. Why do we do it? What's the point? For a long time, I've been intrigued and fascinated by the idea of church, the expression of church, and the challenge of church. Christians acknowledge that the idea came from God. They have no problem with that. They'll even acknowledge that the idea can be found in the Bible. They have no issue with that either. They will even go on to acknowledge that Jesus Christ came to establish the church in a way that would reflect who he is and what he desires to be expressed in the world. You read those episodes of the church in the early days and we're not given a romanticized vision of everything going well and the relentless advance of a perfect group of people following Jesus. No. A lot of the New Testament features communications with people who were at various stages of doubt, fear, and at times raw and uninhibited bad behavior. That gives a crumb of consolation when looking at some of the issues going on with churches today. It's not unusual for the idea of church that Jesus has to be poorly expressed. Though that does lead into the issue of Thank God that he didn't suggest that there was only one way in which the church could be expressed. Thank God that there isn't a straitjacket approach that wants to give the impression that every expression of church should be like a franchise business that has the burgers made the same way and the drinks served the same way. Thank God that as these are reflections of people, then necessarily there will be a degree of diversity in how the church is expressed. Though there is that degree of variety in the way that the church is expressed, there are notes that we can take from those scriptural instructions to those churches that needed correction and guidance. As they were to steer the gathering to know what they were there for and how they can express that among themselves, there should be something that we can learn there should be something, but are we picking up on those things? Consider the habits, practices and rhythms that are already in place in our churches and may have been there for a long time. How did they come about? Why did they come about? Why are they sustained? What do they say about the purpose of church? What do they say about what we do when we gather? For when we gather, we are saying something. We are saying what is important to us. We are declaring what we believe God holds as important for those that follow him. We say that in a collective sense, and there's something about the individual parts of that as well. Look at those instructions, and also consider God's relationship with his people throughout the Old Testament. Consider how that points to Jesus and what that indicates about how the church should express who Jesus is. Are those habits, practices and rhythms we have in place true reflections of adopting those guidance notes we're offered by those sent by God? We can make the excuse of being in a different time to the early church. But a careful reading of those instructions will let us know that some of those instructions were not about cultural sensibilities or things that were only suited for one time. As Jesus left those he sent to carry on the work of declaring the good news, demonstrating the rule of God, expressing the love and care of God and exhibiting the way of Jesus, our challenge as a church is to check if we're in line with the good perfect and acceptable will of God, or if we've strayed from that to sustain a model of church that's more about being cozy holy huddles than dynamic missional expressions of the apostolic, prophetic, evangelistic, pastoral and teaching elements that we find in Jesus Christ. It's worth exploring these questions 
and seeing if there are changes that are needed so that we can align ourselves with what God says about who we are and what we do when we gather. For when we gather, what's it all for? Thank you so much for listening. Shalom. Shalom.